before she died, they say that she had said, I curse this town, I curse you, and may you bleed. You do not have permission to touch me. There's also, actually, I don't know if you knew about this, but there's has been seances recently on the bridge as well. Do you know about that candle wax? Do you know what it was used for? No. Her note. It's all right. I'll come up. I'll come up. Oh, So meaning this gives us an actual random sweep. All right, whoever is grabbing onto my shoulder, you gotta let go right now. People like to say that's where the witch was hung. Yeah, Anybody else getting a weird feeling? Previously on The Witching Hour. Once we go through those trees, that'll be the grove territory or the haunted grove as the townsfolk call it. It was like something walked right in front of the light because the whole grid just went dim. When we talk too much to the children though, someone comes out and it may very well be Richard. I don't come down this way that often, but is there something you want to talk to me about? <laughs> Did I just see someone crouching by these trees over here? Argos Paranormal and guest investigators embarked on a quest in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to investigate three of the region's most notorious sites for discovering paranormal anomalies. They first investigated The Grove, where some investigators have reported communicating with the spirits of children and soldiers who tragically lost their lives in the area while other investigators have reportedly encountered a powerful entity that is considered by some to be a Wendigo. The Native American, it's more of like, kind of like a skinwalker yeah. type of um, creature, but like in other cultures, it could be like a spirit, this giant, huge mass. The investigators will now continue their investigation at Saks Bridge, which is also the site of a town legend known as the Witch's Tree. Nothing really that happened here is verified. No, like, hangings, no witches, no, like, all the legends that you hear at the Tennessee. Nothing is really documented that any of the things that have happened. But, I mean, as, you know, we do investigating, we find things out, certainly, you know, start to piece things together. So, so the only thing I have on the hangings is just a diary entry from mm -hmm. the big one. Yeah. So, there was a farm that's a little ways away. Yeah, I'm zooming in. It, there's a farm that's a little ways away called the John Shock or Sax Farm. It's spelled differently. So this bridge is actually called the Sax Mills Bridge. <laughs> it is a Pennsylvania treasure. It's one of the last three standing thorough trust bridges. It swept out in 1996, just like uh, the John Eisenhower Bridge, and it was rebuilt. It's raised a little bit more so it doesn't mm -hmm. happen again. <laughs> And built with all, um, mm -hmm. I'd say about, I think it was 90% of the same material mm -hmm. that was used was refurbished and it is what you see it today. So. This is Marsh Creek. It runs under most of the town. But what happened here in the Civil War, you have two Union infantries that are going to come across it, but you're going to have multiple Confederacy, especially AP Hill, General Lee's army. Um, you're also going to have a field hospital just in this general area. So the farm that was here, the pig farmer, he was okay to give it up. His family was running to the round tops to try and escape, like the Shriver family did, the Pierce family did, trying to escape. But he left his pigs here. He had two cows and a calf. He found part of the one cow. It was eaten by the Confederacy. And he found the calf and the other cow later around this bridge on top of it. He was like, oh, there's my cow. But the son of the pig farmer was very unhappy with the Confederacy on his land. And during the night of the third, when Lee ordered everybody to pick up and start retreating, he set the pigs free in the night and they feasted upon the men in the field beds here. I didn't know pigs could do that, like eat. Oh yeah, the mafia uh -huh. uses them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so you get rid of bodies, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you may still hear men squirming, moaning, you know, screaming. But the pig farmer wrote of an incident where one of AP Hill's captains caught a few men who tried to escape 
And he said, how could you ever kill a union if you run from a pig? And he said there was a commotion on the bridge and that there were bodies that were strung up at the end of the bridge. And that is all I have on that. It's not exactly verified. Mm -hmm. It's only from a journal entry that I found from the Adams County Historical Society. Huh. So mm -hmm. that's all I've got on that. And I have seen this letter too. So it is a little bit of documentation mm -hmm. that we can find. So a lot of the times when we read like on a Wikipedia page about Saks Bridge, yeah. they call it the Confederate gallows, but that is all the information we have on mm -hmm. those hangings is that supposedly the captain called them cowards. Mm -hmm. Some called them spies, but we don't know. Huh. But also you have, um, it was just AP Hill that was really in this area. So a lot of Confederate positive stuff you're gonna find. Mm -hmm. um, the only other thing that I have down here is when we start going down that way, that's a bit more of a older story before the Civil War even got here. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there is one spirit that I like to talk to on this bridge. His name's Dwight. Dwight? Yep. Dwight is a Confederate soldier. Um, how I know that is over the spirit box, I asked if you were Union or Confederate. It yelled out, Rebel. <coughs> so it was pretty much a direct response of yeah. what it was. And his voice is very, very deep. I notice. So it doesn't matter what device you're using, SB7, any hack radio, even an app, his voice always comes in very low and very deep. Uh, he likes to make jokes a lot, mm -hmm. so that's one thing you like to joke around with him here. Um, I usually have a pack of cigarettes, I'll leave him at least a couple cigarettes when I leave, but I don't have any today, just like you forgot your lighter. <laughs> like we can leave him but, the uh, cigarettes, see what happens, but we don't have to light them. No, you have some cigarettes then? Uh, no. Does anyone have cigarettes? No. Nope. No. Uh, We're not, yeah, I'm, I'm not out. a cigarette smoker. I don't, I don't have any, but, um, so would you say a lot of the Confederate spirits here, they identify, or they, they call themselves rebels? Rebel, yeah. Because in Virginia, they call themselves Southerners. Some even go as far as calling themselves Confederates. I think they very heard well, too. I just know rebel before. comes through a very, a lot here. They're proud of it. Yeah. This is where the Union propaganda and the Confederate propaganda kind of met. Mm -hmm. So you've got like the Union saying that the Confederates, see, they're trying to succeed. The They're coming after us. They're going to take your children. They're going to burn your homes. They're going to eat you. And the Union wasn't any much greater. So the term rebel was huge here in Gettysburg. And they owned up to it. They're like, yeah, that's right. We're rebels. <laughs> but then the Union is called Yankees. Yeah. So one much better, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of the more active spots on the whole area around here, I'd say. Um that being said, Gettysburg, remember, is a big hit or miss. It depends on the time, it depends on the weather, it depends on a lot of factors around here that actually ramp up activity. Hmm. Um, like full moons, for example, around here are off the chain. It's crazy. Um, and, you know, the, recently with these lights just being put up, it kind of uh, stunts activity a little bit. Yeah, um, but they still, if they want to talk to you, they're going to talk to you. Was there. that building always here? It is yes. the pumping station. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thing I didn't see it before because there used to be a lot of trees mm -hmm. over here. Yeah. And actually, there was a building right beside that that got torn down. It was an abandoned their old factory that they had there. Um. Uh, me and my partner believe that there was spirits in there, and once that building came down, it kind of released something. It released you know, all There's the spirits that could so. have been in there to the bridge here or to the land. Oh. So, I mean, they could still be here as well. I don't know what that building was used for. It could have been an older pumping station house. So that's, it could have been a worker who had died mm -hmm. somehow in the building. Um, does that Native American guy still come over here at night? The, one that we saw got, last. the first guy, the first time you guys came here and did that with the light and everything, you know, we were trying to get the Tennessee to work. Mm -hmm. um, that was the first night I ever gotten anything from a Native American here, me personally. Hmm. I haven't gotten anything. Yeah, no, me personally. It was just something about Remsa. It was something mm -hmm. about him. Does anyone sell, smell smoke? I do. Yep. I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. It smells more like chimney smoke. Yeah, yeah there are homes over there. Over there. Three houses yeah. over there. Yeah. They usually don't bother people on the bridge, though, so they're fine. As long as we um, don't bother them, they won't bother mm -hmm. us. It's right. Like yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Do they know about those devil worshippers? <laughs> a lot of them have yeah, called the cops probably, on people yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. they see like packs of teenagers and stuff, especially they see like lights and stuff in the woods. Like when we go back there, we need to go semi dark. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're fine. You all right. So here's stuff, the thing: but... if some people in Blackstar Bars, we're gonna go ball to the wall and kick their. Yeah, they can <laughs> <get out. laughs> That's oh fine. My God. 
<laughs> and I got a like, big ass crazy knife. guy here that wears also. feathers in his hair. And he talks about Scientology. I haven't seen oh him in a while. God, yeah, I haven't seen him, but he runs around in like that gold little hatchback yeah, wagon or whatever Jim. it is. Uh, oh, what'd you call him? Old Cook Jim. Old Cook Jim. Yeah. He has a name? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but there's also, actually, I don't know if you knew about this, but there has been seances recently on the bridge as well. I know. It's, uh, um, a lot of times they come up here, I find candle wax all over the bridge. You yeah. Oh, that's a foot, bummer. Chicken foot. Yeah, there, chicken I, saw, foot I found time. a chicken oh. foot right here. One time, and I see a string hanging from, kind of tied in some sort of mm -hmm. similar manner, where it's just kind of weird how it's like that. It's you like know, there's a sign of, on the other side too that's like, you know, it says that the bridge is monitored. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's and, cameras there now. Okay. <laughs> So this thing's Pico, really cool. the mini. So, yeah, this is Pico. And this is the very first um, spirit box that's like this that I know of. So this is actually a manual tune radio. So there's no buttons on it. It's all controlled by, like, you know, like the dial sweeping, like, mm -hmm. that you can scroll through. It's like this, but inside here is a little motor that actually sweeps the manual tune radio. And if I'm describing this right, there's actually sensors in here that reads the outside environment and kind of changes the code that this is written into sweep. So meaning this gives us an actual random sweep. So once I turn this on, this needle is going to ping pong back and forth. It can go fast, it can go slow, it can stop on a station for a certain period of time. It's just, it's unknown what it's going to do. Um, especially, you know, with the outside environment, it reads that. So it changes, the code's always changing. So once we turn it on here, we're going to give it a go. Simple button. Back here is going to be sweeping on AM. Here we go. Hello? Is there anybody here that wants to come through? This is Brett. come through in speed. Brought a new device here for you guys to play with. Does anyone hear of us? We have two lights set up on the side of the bridge over here. Can you go ahead and use some of your energy to turn one of them on? Help let us know you're here. Ask questions? Okay. I heard that. Anything else? Here's a kid coming through. Hello? Who is this? Is this Dwight? Dwight, buddy, if you're here, can you come through for me? It's been a few weeks since I've been up to visit you. Dwight, is this you making the light go off there? On the that's sitting there by the flashlights? Dwight, if you're here, can you go ahead and turn on one of those lights for us? I'm gonna try to restart this real quick. I need to restart it, this school is messy. I'm not sensitive or anything, but it doesn't really feel like there's anything here. Hello, guys. Did, uh, did Brian just see you? Are you on the other side of the bridge? Somebody's here tonight. I know you can talk to us. And we want to talk to you. If you can come here, 
and show us that you're here, we'd really appreciate it. We have lights set up. You can touch them. More? You want more lights? I have little lights here, but if you want me to know you're here, you've got to touch them, and I know you can. Unless it likes playing 80s music for us. Yeah. <laughs> I think the cold's messing with it a little bit. Hold on. I'm gonna get this one up and running, see what we got. Yeah. All you gotta do is touch that light for me. Do you need a Wi Fi hotspot at all? Uh, for no. the, are you just using the banks? Yeah, I'm using the bank. Okay. I can't hear you if you don't speak. You know, the last time I was here, I met someone who kept identifying as Tennessee. Is that spirit still here with us? Yes. Only a yelp. Is that the deep voice you're talking about? Sounds like Dwight. Dwight. Dwight likes to jig around a lot. He's there. Dwight, are you on this bridge with us? On this ledge over here, I have a couple of items you can mess with. Two of them are um, a bunch of little lights. Can you come over here and turn one of them on for us? I think I remember... Looking for me? Looking for me? Yeah, that's what I heard. That's a female. Lily, is that you? Humidity. Wow. You guys feel that breeze coming through right yep. now? Yeah. Oh my that god. That breeze is causing it to go off. We want to talk. We want to talk to you. I'm looking for you. But I need you to show me you're here or this doesn't work. Is there a lily here? I met a lily the last time I was here. Have you guys ever encountered a lily? I have heard that name. That name came over the boxes a couple of times. Okay. Can someone tell me what's happened on this bridge? Okay, we'll get to that. Does anyone know what's happened on this bridge? It causes it to get really cold here. Did you hear I did? Who is that? Getting chills in my back. I mean, I mean, it's cold, but then, I mean, it just like dropped. Are there by chance portals here from like the seances and all that? A lot of I things would, aren't closed. I would, uh, I would bet As money on it. Especially down, down there. there. When you yeah. go down there, it's just a whole bunch of things wanting to talk at one time. You'll feel that energy when yeah. you walk down there. And you've got to ask them. you got to say, who's the one that can talk? Okay, it's getting really quiet up here. How come no one wants to talk about what's gone on in this bridge? You know, earlier I saw some candle wax on this floor. Can anyone else see it? Yeah, I did. Do you know about that candle wax? Do you know what it was used for? No. Nope. Her nope. It's alright. Oh, sh I heard occult. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I could see that. Did you say a cult was over here? Did someone try to hurt you here? Yes. 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 I'm so sorry. Can we help you?
Did they do bad things to you? I didn't hear. How can It's blinking blue. Oh. Right, if you're here, Buzz, do you see this little box on the floor? Do you see what happens when I bring my hand close to it? All those little pretty lights come on. Can you do the same for us? That was weird. That's a church bell. Yeah. Oh. Hearing a church bell during an investigation is not okay. <laughs> oh, really? No. I've heard it many times before. <laughs> so, do you see how I was able to make this box light up? Uh, no, I didn't customize this. Can you do the same? It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy for me. It should be easy for you. So hearing church bells in an investigation, it's usually like a foreshadowing of something bad's going to happen. Could then like a residual sound. Because mm -hmm. Brian and I heard church bells at the Grove. Yeah. yeah. Through here. Just one. Just one. Just one. It was just one. So you have a red pot down there as well. Because our last couple of investigations, we had some good luck with them interacting. Yeah. Through the REM pods. Yeah. So they should do it this time, unless they're not necessarily on the bridge of us. They could be elsewhere over here and then come through. Are you still guarding the bridge? Are you part of the rebels? Or are you a Yankee? Are you a Yankee? Or you don't like the Yankees? Do you remember John Sachs? He lived here. Did he set the pigs free? You have to answer me, I know you can. Like a knock. Mm hmm. Let's um, do a knocking trick so you, you'll knock a couple times and we'll see if there's something back. <gasps> okay. I don't think it's gonna. Can you knock three times for us like this? I know there's someone here who's capable of knocking for us. Can you go ahead and knock? Just at least once? Dwight, if... Does anyone want to smell cologne? I'm congested. I can't smell the damn thing. My nose is frozen. <laughs> it, it's gone now, but I just smelled cologne coming towards me. Hmm. Oh, why don't we ask them about the new barn? I smell alcohol here a lot. Alcohol? Mm -hmm. Like whiskey. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Where's it's the new barn? Uh, the new barn is down that way. In the right field. out there. You can okay. see it. Ask them if they know the new barn. If they're upset. <laughs> A hundred what? Which group is this? Which group is this? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're, um... Sorry, I thought I saw some, but eyes oh, playing tricks on me. Maybe the first one. Um... Something more to call. Uh, not too long ago, I just smelled <laughs> cologne <laughs> coming towards me. Or perhaps perfume or some type of fragrance which someone would spray on themselves. Did I happen to smell you? Get out of here. Did I hear that right? I don't understand. Are you down in the woods? Who are we 
we talking with right now? Can we get a, a definite name, please? May have been a mic. Something with an M. A name starting with an M. You know, I don't mean to push your limits a little bit, but Please. earlier I did ask someone to light up my little box at the end of this bridge. Search him? <laughs> How come no one wants to light up my little box? Wow. Possible. Possible. Um, impossible. I just heard a man in distress. Could that have been Dwight? If that was Dwight, can someone light up that box for me? Just to confirm what I heard? the townsfolk. It is a town legend. It's called the witch's tree. If you shine your light up there on that first knot, during the rainy time, when the tree gets wet, it turns into a skull. Uncannily, looks like a skull. Just a little bit ways up there, these two knots on the right side, people like to say that's where the witch was hung. But even further, when I talked about the relationship between uh, an Iroquois man and a woman here in the town, and then the town got angry and called the state, this may have been the tree where she was strung up and the horse pulled the rope and it broke her neck before she died. They say that she had said, I curse this town, I curse you, and may you bleed. And that's a town legend. I have no verification that it happened. But on some of my tours and hunts, the joke is if you go up there and you touch it, you may be cursed by the tree. Sometimes when people have touched it, they felt something a little staticky. Other times they said that they heard someone whisper in their ear. But sure enough, when me and my mother did an EVP reading here, she asked her favorite question, do you know you're dead? And she got a faint female's response, yes. Hmm. And that is really my biggest experience in this area. If we walk further back, like Brett said, mm -hmm. there is a portal area that a lot of college students dare themselves to come back here. So that's like another town thing. They dare themselves to come back here. And a lot of times I walk back there and I see like a Ouija board that's half exactly. burned. I see half the burned thing. in the ground. And it's... It's like, are you all okay? It's, it's a bit disturbing, especially just looking down and seeing something like that. Half yeah, burned, that. You know. So it's a great content. <laughs> so here's where you're going to want to try and turn on that box and see if we can get a conversation. All right. There's something, like Brett said, this dormant back here that... Um, it's been very dormant as of late, especially throughout the summer, but the previous summer has been very, very... Very... More than it is, cut it out. Hmm? You heard war earlier. If somebody is here with us, can you please speak up to us? We can hear you. Can you tell me a name? Any name? Is there one that can talk? Can you tell us if the legend is true about the witch? Screaming? Are, is there a witch? Is there a car? No. I thought I saw something like on the path. Oh, 
Is there anything special about this tree? Is there anything special about this tree? What happens if I touch it? Can you tell me what happens if I touch it? Do you know what happens? You know, there's a rumor that a... What was it? A lady had a relationship with a Native American man. And she was hung here. And her kids' throats were slit in front of her. Yep. Was there a lady who was hung here? There Has... two sides to the legend. Either her children were murdered by the townsfolk, her husband was murdered in the field, and he was buried there, or she died pregnant. If you're here right now, can you be quiet? I heard off. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Say the devil's time. Do so it? my my arm feels like somebody's putting pressure on it. Like I can feel it through the the fabric, and then it went to my elbow. So. Is that you touching me? Yes. This is where the portal is. You good back there? I'm good. I'm good. why this area gets flooded. Because yeah. um, the river or something must have flown through here at one point. It just gets a little too, like, intense. Hmm. And EMF meters, they go nuts here as well. Uh, let's see if we can get something. We're only here before. Right here. Why is this? Oh, because they're getting ready to tear that tree down. It's not been great. bad things. I know a lot of people come here and they play with things they shouldn't. There's something here. Ow. Alright, whoever is grabbing onto my shoulder, you gotta let go right now. You do not have permission to touch me. Close. So I had um, shoulder surgery on my right shoulder mm -hmm. uh -huh. and ever since then, whenever I've come into contact with anything on the more darker scale, they always put pressure on my surgical mark. Wow. That's kind of like my weak spot. Yeah. So that, that's the first time I've felt it in like two years. 
Can you tell me who we're talking with right now? You don't know? That's a weird looking tree. It's like Bang. Do you see it, how it's spotty? Which one? The one right here that's marked 420 or something? Do you see a tree? Follow my light. So, whoa. That sounded like a kitty light. You know, oh, that, that scream. It sounded like, like a deep kid. Yep. Do so you want to just look around the bed? It's wet down there. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Who knows how deep the water goes back through? Can you come touch this little green light? That's all I need you to do. If you do that for me. Oh, sorry. Just touch this little light, please. I don't believe you're here if you don't do that. Yes, I am here. Okay, I believe you, but I need to see it. Can you touch this green light? It's in my hand. It's all I need you to do to prove to me you're here. Now if you don't touch it, I don't believe you're here then. What happened to the man that was laughing at us? Do you guys hear that right over there? I heard it's like it, some yeah. humming. Mm -hmm. Let me just pause this for a minute. You okay? Oh, that kind of thing. Hello. Is there any type of spirit here? Can you make a noise for us? Anything. Anything will suffice for us. Hear it? Yep. Yep. Is that the humming you heard? Yep. Hear it? Hear it? Could it be an owl, like in the distance? It could be. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's funny because I was just going to start humming. <laughs> Is that the lady that we keep hearing? Heard rustling, but we've been any animal. Mm. That humming was cool. It was. Yeah. And I think it was just low enough that I don't think it could have been like. It would be weird if it would be a moment. I'm going to whistle. <whistles> Anybody else getting a weird feeling? Oh, I've had those, since we've walked out on this Down trail here. Yeah. This, right when we get here, any time <laughs> when we get here, I just get an unsettling feeling. There's a whole bunch of things. Yeah. A whole bunch of things. What's funny is I feel absolutely relaxed right now. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird because up on the bridge I didn't feel nothing. Then you come down here and you just feel like everything's yeah. like they're in the trees, they're watching. And 
one person's humming. It's a lovely tune. <laughs> I'm too polite sometimes. Why, especially to these. <laughs> I don't know who knows what. Anybody else getting a weird feeling? Oh, I've had the, since we've walked out on this trail Down here. Yeah. This, right when we get here, anytime <laughs> when we get here, I just get an unsettling feeling. There's a whole bunch of things. Yeah. A whole bunch of things. What's funny is I feel absolutely relaxed right now. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird because up on the bridge, I didn't feel nothing. When you come down here, you just feel like everything's yeah. like they're in the trees, they're watching, and one person's humming. It's a lovely tune. <laughs> I'm too polite sometimes. Especially to these. <laughs> I don't who knows what. So it's around this area. I'm too polite sometimes. Why? Especially to these. <laughs> I don't who knows what. So it's around this area. So it's around this area where you've seen the half burnt Ouija boards. Mm -hmm. Around this area here. And farther back actually. If you this whole uh, stream kind of continues and curves backwards. And there there was, I don't know if there still is, but logs that were down. Mm -hmm. And they used to use those as well. It's just like a kind of like an altar. So mm -hmm. like candles it's and just a perfect board, cult so. setting. <laughs> What do you got to say for it for us? It was a little bit interesting because the first time I was there, there was a lot of activity. I'm not trying to say that there was an activity there tonight, but um, I think a lot of the spirits there are possibly post-Civil War related. Um, sorry. I think they're post-Civil War related. When I was asking about what was going on on the bridge, what um, was candle wax used for, I heard someone say a cult and a couple other eerie things. Um, it is known that there have been seances on the bridge, people wearing black going into the woods where we were just at, and apparently because of all the suspicious activity, um, the county ended up putting that place under 24-7 surveillance. So that kind of surprised me a little bit because the last time I was here I didn't really think much Sax Bridge, other than it was just a hot spot for local ghost hunters, but I also didn't realize it was a hot spot for cult worshippers. Um, we finally went to go over to the witch's tree. Finally got to see it. Nothing eventful there. What was kind of creepy was when we're walking further into the woods over where there's supposedly an active portal, um, a man laughing could be heard through the vassal box. And then I felt pressure on my surgical scars on my right shoulder. And I wasn't the only one who felt pressure on their shoulders. Alexandria, for example, felt the same exact thing, but about approximately five minutes before that. So it was just a little bit confusing. Saks Bridge is one of those places where we're going to have to investigate multiple times. Um, as much as I wanted to stay out there, it was just freaking cold so that's uh, all I've got to say right now we are heading to John D. Eisenhower Bridge which we previously referred to as Suicide Bridge but as we're going to find out in a few minutes there are no documented suicides in that area area here is where people on my ghost hunts when I used to do them here would see something moving back and forth between the trees like it swayed 
and red eyes. And I'm like, are we sure it's red eyes or it's not something playing? He goes, no, there's red eyes right there. And down this path is where I saw the pulsating light as okay. it kind of like followed in towards the trees a little bit and then it came up this way towards us. Huh. And that's when the bridge, the whole bridge, it felt like one giant shake. Mm -hmm. Now it wasn't like a constant like shake. It was like one giant like, rum, like well, there, vibration. <laughs> there's two entities I for sure know of. It's the non-human entity there. Yeah. And I think there's a second non-human entity or it's a piece and of it. I know Susan, a uh, girl, little girl that comes through here a lot named Susan. Okay. Uh, the boxes. The second entity climbs. You can hear it sound it and it's pretty cold now there's not really any heat coming through so unless there was a heat change of some sort bridge isn't really going to creak and move on its own yeah. it's already got frost on it so it's done it's creaking but it um a kid on my ghost hunt got a picture of what looks like a long-armed gorilla or an ape figure climbing and we heard something as we all sat here very quietly as if something was climbing up and then just swinging felt like something was above us right but whatever that is back there i wish remso is back because he needs to tell it what for <laughs> so he can sleep does he still have nightmares not regularly probably because he distanced himself from it i'm not entirely sure he doesn't really talk about it we love but he does need to come back i did give him a, a potpourri spell to use just Star and Essie, Clove, Amethyst, and then uh, ask for good sleep every night, but keep it next to your, your bed. And when you wake up in the morning, you've had good dreams, you say, thank you. That's it. You've just got to communicate with it every day and every night, and you'll be all right, I hope. Brett, have you encountered this non-human entity? Um, yeah, I will say that. Um, especially, I think he resides down towards the woods. Um, I feel it more than anything than see it. Okay. Um, it just feels like dread, especially when you get down to the very last pylons down there, mm -hmm. um, blocking the red off. It just feels like just dread, and it's it's not a good feeling. I agree with that. Dread. It doesn't feel good. In this area here, uh, off one of the Gettysburg towers in the field, a girl in 2009 did commit mm -hmm. suicide by throwing herself off. Um, 70 foot. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember her name. I'm, I'm going to look it up real quick. But uh, I feel like we have heard her name here before. And she said, I died here. But like I said, we don't have any suicides no. here. So I think whatever is back there, when we start talking to spirits and when we start conversing with spirits here, it doesn't like us talking to its spirits. I feel like it draws them here. And this is it. This is its ground. And when we're talking to its food, it gets mad. It's like it draws them in and takes their energy. Right. Keeps them here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like how in the new Mad Max movie, Mad Max was hooked up to the car and those freaks were draining his blood or what have yeah. you. Yeah. This is kind of the same idea. If you die around here, it takes you. If you're here right now, I know you know me. I know you don't like me very much and I know you don't like me talking to your people here, but I'm gonna. In a polite manner. Make sure it's polite. So if you're here right now, we don't mean to intrude, but we know that you're here. I know I set this up. Right over by the top and that's all I need you to do is talk what? to us. Two years ago, he was here. You made his brother throw up on the bridge. Can you talk to us again? I know you're no stranger. Hello. I know you're no stranger to the tools that I use. So can you try to talk to me tonight? I know you know what that is. Well. Say it again. The REM pod. Is it going off? It, it's flashing. Yeah, it is. Hey, Brian, you guys want to see this? We're not here to make an enemy. 
We're just here to talk to you. Holy shit. I know you can hurt us, and I don't want you to. So soon. Hey, squit. The same sound, guys. It's like bouncing back and wow. I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. Questions? Man. I do have questions. What do you say? I have friends. It sounds like a little girl. Beth? Hold on, guys. We're going to try to get something. Brett, can you have your camera on the tripod while I film you guys? Not tripod, the REM pod. Yeah. Oh, that light's on. All right, everyone. Did I make you mad already? Just so we can confirm that this is you, can you... Step away from everything real quick. What the hell happened? Okay, the light. See, because we have things that move across the bridge there, I can't tell if it's Brian or not. If you want us to leave, I need you to tell me. I need you to say it. Otherwise, you know I don't leave. He's just changing out the battery. Hmm? He's just changing out the battery on the camera. Tell me where you are. No. Can you, can you talk in this box right box. here? Car door. I want to see you touch this red light again. Look. Can you do that again? Yes. I see you there, but I want to see you there. Touch that. And I'm asking you to. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah, i never seen that REM pod go off like that before. Did they say I'm not nice? Uh, I could just miss interference. Can I ask who we're talking to? That did not say demon, that was a song, but it sounded like it. I want a name, please. Any name. It's really interested in that light. I want it to be interested in the red light. Look, 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 look. Watch. Can you, did I touch something? I don't think I did. Oh. Might need a reset on it. I'm good. Is there battery dying on that? Brand new battery. Yeah, just everything's going wild. Last time I was here, you showed me what you could do. I think this cold is affecting the equipment. The equipment. Yeah. I want you to do it again. Can you make a sound in the woods? You didn't by chance bring the dowsing rods with you, did you? No, I can go get them though. Yes, please. Yeah. Pray, please. I'm sorry to make you walk down there in the dark. No, no, it's all good. I'm going to get the dowsing rods and I'm going to talk to the girls on this bridge and you're going to let me. If you don't like it, you need to tell me in that box right now.